Marie Curie is the only person in history to win Nobel Prizes in two different scientific fields, physics and chemistry. She carried radioactive elements in her pockets, completely unaware of the fatal risks. Her notebooks from the 1890s are still too radioactive to handle without protection. Despite facing brutal sexism, she became the first female professor at the Sorbonne. When her husband Pierre died in a freak accident, she took over his position and surpassed his legacy. Marie Curie was born as Maria Sklodowska on November 7, 1867, in Warsaw, Poland. She read Charles Dickens in Polish as a child and loved math puzzles. She was known for her photographic memory and passion for science. She moved to Paris at age 24 to study at the Sorbonne. At the Sorbonne, she lived on bread and tea and sometimes fainted from hunger. Marie graduated top of her class in physics in 1893 and later also in mathematics. Marie gave birth to two daughters, Irene and Eve Curie. Her daughter Irene would later win a Nobel Prize herself. In 1903, she shared the Nobel Prize in physics with Pierre and Becquerel. The Nobel Committee originally excluded her, naming only the men. Marie Curie discovered two new elements, polonium and radium, both previously unknown. The Curies refused to patent radium, allowing open access for medical research. She funded the war effort by melting her gold Nobel medals for France, though the bank returned them. Her work provided key knowledge for medical diagnostics through X-rays and radiotherapy. The French Academy of Sciences rejected her membership, citing her gender. Her second Nobel Prize was awarded even as the press criticized her personal life. Curie was awarded 15 honorary degrees during her lifetime. In her words, I am among those who think that science has great beauty. Marie's granddaughter, Hélène Langevin Joliot, is also a nuclear physicist. Curie died on July 4, 1934, from a plastic anemia, a condition linked to radiation.